Hi friends, how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. My name is Sanju and welcome to my channel English with Sanju. We continue with the reading of Jane Eyre and we are at page 68. Please watch the full video. Okay. Listen, last Monday night I was very sad. I wanted you near but I feared that you were dead. It was nearly midnight. I was sitting in my room. In my sadness I spoke three words. Jane, Jane, Jane. Then I heard a voice. Your voice, answer. I am coming, wait for me. A moment later, the same voice cried, Where are you? I cannot explain it. I am. I have thought a lot about it. But I am sure that it was your voice. Isn't that strange? When I heard the story, I could not speak for a moment. I had heard Mr. Rochester's voice at the same time. It was indeed very strange. But I did not tell Edward my story. There are some things which not which better not said. He held out his hand and took it in mine. Slowly we walked home together. We had found happiness at last. I married Mr. Rochester. We had a quiet wedding. There were only the clergyman, his wife, Mr. Rochester and I at the church. When we returned, I went to the kitchen. Mary and John were working there. Mr. Rochester and I were married this morning, I told them. Both Mary and John were honest country people. They did not get excited easily. Mary looked up from her work and smiled. Well, Miss, I am very pleased for you both, she said, and then she returned to her work. John was smiling from ear to ear. I knew it, he cried. I knew that Mr. Rochester would marry you. And I am very glad. I hope you both are very happy. I wrote to Mr. to Moore House immediately. Diana and Mary were very, were very happy. They come to visit us quite often, but St. John did not write until six months later. He wrote only about his missionary work. We have continued to write to each other once a year or twice a year.